Well, I've never worked with Paul Ruders before or, or done his music before, but what, what he does in this opera, he takes music from every different style you can think of whenever it's appropriate for each scene. So each scene is quite different language. Um, he writes brilliantly, clearly on the score. You can see exactly what he's after. And he just creates mood and then a new mood and then a new mood by switching styles and, and orchestra. I thought, you know, how, is, how are they going to do this for the opera? And they've really done a great job of um, taking all these quick little snippets of scenes and keeping us in the present, taking us back to the past. Um, they, they tell this story in such an interesting way. My favorite piece to sing in this opera probably is actually the Jezebel scene. Uh, without giving too much away, there's a lot of really fun, frenetic, stuff and thematic uh, instrumentation going on and the staging is proving really, really new. Paul Reuters has created a musical world which is as disarming and in many ways um, uncentering, if I could say that, as the world of Gilead would feel to those of us who are used to just the modern freedoms that we have. So it's done for a purpose, but at every turn Musically, any time you get a chance to settle, something changes where you have to immediately change direction. I think the audience is going to be blown away by the music. They're going to go away talking about the, the whole piece, the drama of it, but they're also going to go away saying, how rude is it? Wow! Uh, it's just so impressive. They're going to go away thinking Paul Rudis is one of the great opera composers. I th I'm so excited by it all. Ah! Uh -huh.